My friends, I'm a wise old woman, and I've come to share wisdom about love and pleasure between people. Just as flowers need sun and rain to blossom their petals and exude perfume, our bodies also need affection and sensuality to awaken their full potential for joy. It is known that the most sensitive parts of the female body are in the external region of the genitals, so that a gentle touch to this area can already bring great pleasure without the need for insertion. In the northern lands, women have been using objects made by human hands to amplify their pleasures when making out with their partners. Icelandic women are said to be the most fond of these artifacts, followed by English and Norwegian women. There are those who see this practice as something natural. After all the human body was made to feel pleasure. However, in other places, they consider it disgusting or sinful. In the West, East Asia, and the South Seas, men and women have been pleasuring themselves with kisses and caresses since time and memorial. In parts of Africa, on the other hand, it is believed that using the mouth to give pleasure is something that hurts nature. Just as some religious faiths teach that such affection is in pure conduct. My dears, Pleasure between people depends not only on the joining of bodies, but on the warmth of hearts. A harmonious home full of beauty with flowers, candles and love songs is in itself a caress for the soul. In the same way, a tender gaze and accomplices, smile or whisper by the ear, also ignite the flame of desire. For many women penetration alone is not enough to achieve ecstasy. They need to be caressed in other places, solely and for a long time. Just as stretching is essential before any physical exercise, the reverie of the senses is fundamental for a moment of full surrender. As a wise man once said, the size of pleasure lasts similarly between men and women. However, each body is unique and equally wonderful. What matters is that men and women perceive themselves as equals, in bed with the same rights to feel pleasure. I hope these words have brought you some comfort or teaching. Now I'm on my way, but may joy and peace remain in your hearts. The wise say that when mind and body are in harmony, during moments of tenderness, pleasures intensify in an extraordinary way. Recent studies indicate that a gentle touch is enough to communicate the desire for union to the person you love, and that it pleases the partner very much when she herself takes the initiative in the entanglement. But beware of deceptive appearances. An overly made-up face can alienate rather than attract, because true beauty emanates from the inside out. Cuddling isn't just about the body, a cozy home adorned with soft colors and seductive music. Provides a climate more conducive to cuddling. We know that many women only reach supreme ecstasy through prolonged caresses in their secret garden. For this to happen, it's essential that their partners dedicate quality, time to delighting the female senses, and don't rush the touches too much. In the same way, once the man has reached the pinnacle of pleasure, there must be consideration, so that he can offer more of himself in that sacred moment. Let's always cultivate dialogue and companionship outside the bed so that inside of the hours are of pure joy. I am sure that these teachings can enable your intimate relationships and bring more harmony to your homes. For now, I say goodbye again.
but may wisdom always be with you.